Let's create a mail merge in Excel. The idea of a mail merge is you have information in one file that you pull into another in a way that saves time. So here I'm in Excel. I'm going to type in ticket number, and I want to create 500. I want to create 200 dance tickets, but this could be 200, or it can be even be 200,000. So I'll type in one, two. I'll highlight both cells. If you actually use the mouse, you can drag it, or you can even click on the first cell, hold down the shift button, and press down arrow. That's good to know. We're going to do auto fill. Click on the bottom right corner once you see the black plus sign, and drag it down. So we'll say that we have the task of creating 200 tickets, but this could be even in the thousands. So here I'm going to just uh, get 200 tickets. <clears throat> Notice how we we're on sheet one. Let's go file. Let's go save as. And I'll save to my computer on my desktop. I will call this uh, tickets tickets press enter so I saved this file called tickets to my desktop now let's open up this uh, program called publisher uh, I'm gonna go publisher found new and then I'm gonna choose built-in and then built-in you can also find some templates online but sometimes it's time-consuming uh, I'm gonna just choose a built-in business card so we're gonna choose the install template but the one that, the first one is called arrows that's fine double click it and notice how we have a, a nice business card here uh, and if I go file print it shows you a nice uh, preview and by default we have uh, the business card actually printing uh, 10, 10 cards per page that's the default let me press escape Let's, uh, let's just press this little back arrow here and go back to uh, our card. Now you can type in here and make a nice business card, but we want to create dance tickets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, press Control A, which selects everything, press Delete. And this is where you might want to copy some dance picture off the internet and right click paste it here. But for the sake of simplicity, all I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a nice uh, shape here and the shape I like is this rounded rectangle so the rounded rectangle I'm going to just uh, have it like this notice how you can change the shape fill color I'm going to make the shape fill color white but it can be any color you wish and notice how we can just very quickly change the border color uh, we can even uh, toy around with the shape outline you can make it uh, dark green and notice how when you actually type you can type in one two, two three four uh, and it types right in right in there if you go to the home tab you can actually choose center center text or control E so it would be extremely painful for you to have to manually type one and then print it out type two print it out three especially if you have 50,000 tickets it's not very feasible. You might accidentally print the same number twice or forget a number and uh, it, would, it would be a big problem if you actually gave two uh, different people the same ticket and they'd be fighting over their seat. So this is where we use a mail merge. Rather than manually typing things in, what we do is we go to mailings, select recipients. This means we want to actually uh, uh, choose uh, where our information is coming from and we're going to use an existing list. The existing list is the Excel file. So I'm going to use the existing list. And we're going to browse to the desktop because this is where I save the tickets. Notice how as you're browsing, you can press the letter T. It jumps to the letter T. I'm going to click on Open or Double Click. And now we successfully connected Excel to Publisher. It says, where is your information? It's on Sheet 1 first row contains column headers I wrote ticket numbers which is fine everything all the defaults are good I will click on OK so we connected the the, uh, the actual two uh, programs and it looks like ticket 1234 is exactly what I wanted click OK again without thinking 
now that you connected the two files, we're going to actually go to insert merge field. This is where I'm going to actually insert the ticket number. Now you may think that this is useless. Well, what are these strange chevron symbols, ticket number? When you actually click on preview results, you will see that you can actually click through the, the triangles here and you you can preview what it's going to actually look like. And it's going to go right to the end of the file. So when we're done, and this looks correct, you can actually go to finish and merge. And this is where you would merge to a printer. So if you actually print it to a real printer, it would actually spit them out and it would spit out in a very automated form in a very automated form. If you actually print to a PDF, if you have a PDF driver, like cute PDF is a free print driver, it would actually just generate a PDF file. But there's one last key setting we need to change here. So if I zoom in here, notice how it's printing out 42, 42, 42. If I hit the little page next sheet button here, 43, 43, 43, we don't want uh, 10 of the same tickets per page. So therefore, there's one last option we need to change here, which is multiple copies per sheet. Change it to multiple pages per sheet. And now, if you actually zoom in a bit, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the secret to actually printing out auto-numbered auto numbered tickets with different ticket numbers. Imagine yourself selling dance tickets uh, and they're doing a, polish, a very polished job as opposed to someone handwriting in all the ticket numbers, which can be extremely time-consuming. So we, we learned about mail merge today. Congratulations, this is one of the more advanced uh, ideas within Excel and it's uh, most likely to be in a job interview when they're asking about uh, your knowledge about Excel. Congratulations.